Elizabeth was now pregnant on purpose with purpose. She was pregnant on purpose with purpose. The Bible says the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit had responded. So Elizabeth was pregnant on purpose. It was not an accident. And many of you sometimes have classified your pregnancy as being an accidental pregnancy. But I come to rebuke that because if God allowed your, you to become pregnant or your partner to become pregnant, it was not by accident because every pregnancy is on purpose with purpose because no one in here was born or created without a purpose. My mother and my father were teenagers when they conceived me. My mother and my father were not married. My mother and my father were living in the inner city. My mother and my father didn't have a clue what to do with a baby boy, but God had a purpose for my... <laughs> Nobody in here is by accident. You were created on purpose for purpose. Don't care if your daddy claim you or not. That does not define your purpose. Don't care if your mama gave up on you. That does not define your purpose. Maybe your mother and father had one assignment and that was to get you here. And once you got here, the Holy Spirit would parent you and guide you and feed you and nurture you and bless you and increase you and protect you. No, no, notice, notice, notice. You got to read in between the text. It says she became pregnant and then she hid herself for five months of her pregnancy. When she got the word, well, she didn't go tell everybody she was pregnant. Because she was mature to know everybody around her could not handle what God was doing for her. So she had to go and hide so she can grow spiritually to be able to carry her purpose. Because there were some kinsmen, if she would have told them in her state of being she was pregnant, they would have laughed and talked about her. And she was tired of being laughed at and talked about. So she said, I'll just hide and show you later. Everybody can't handle your testimony. Some people won't receive the new you until they've seen the evidence. My faith is now on steroids. Let's be honest. Some of you were faithful doubters. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that man gonna get that property. That, that, you stop saying we. That man. That man. Ain't no way that man. But before January 4th, 2011, I'm going to walk in here with a piece of paper and the faithful doubters, because get this, the church did not produce the money we needed to get the property. Church didn't come through. But I'm glad that my destiny and the vision of this ministry is never based on the people who show up on Sunday morning. Elizabeth realized, I, if, I, if I go to them right now, yeah, they may talk me out of it. Yeah, yeah. They may send me into a stressful vision. I may abort my vision. Yeah. See, sometimes internal worry and stress can get you so sick that what you're carrying, you will abort it. And you will, you will not be able to carry it to full term because of stress and worry. So this woman had to go away for a little while because she couldn't have folks stressing her out. Yeah. Stop telling everybody what you're going through. Yeah. Some folks can't handle your story until you tell them what you went through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she hid until she was ready for 
of the critics. Look at verse number 36. Let's walk you through the text. You know the story from last week I taught you? How the angel came and told this virgin and her fiancé. Y'all going to get pregnant too. And y'all going to conceive Jesus. So Mary, the cousin of Elizabeth, was carrying Jesus. And she was a miracle because she was a virgin carrying a baby. Her cousin Elizabeth is a miracle because she's old in age, beyond baby carrying stages, and she's carrying a baby. So now, quickly, what happens between the last verse and this verse is Mary quickly runs to Elizabeth's house. I have a question. Who do you run to when you realize you have vision? Who do you run to when there's godly news to share? Now, I know who you run to with gossip. I know who you run to with junk and trash. I know who you run to when you say, he say, she say, but don't tell nobody I say. I know who you, but who do you run to when God has spoken to you? The Bible says Mary runs to Elizabeth's house. Because the Bible says, look at verse 13. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in old age. Yes, Elizabeth, the one who y'all call barren. While you are wondering how God going to work it out for you, God has already worked that same thing out for somebody else. And God tells you, look what I've done over there and what I've done over there. I'm the same God. I want you to have somebody can shout right now. He's the same God. He's the same God. He's the same God that showed up at the Red Sea. He's the same God that showed up at Lazarus' grave. He's the same God that turned water to what? He's the same God that gave sight to the blind. He's the same God. A brother came to me and said, Pastor, pray for me about my taxes. They're about to levy my paycheck. I said, go fishing. He said, what you mean? He's the same God that told a man that was in tax trouble, go fishing. Yeah. And the first fish you catch, open up his mouth. And inside will be enough for the tax man and for you. Well, I ain't no fisherman. That's your problem. You scared to lunch out in the deep. You may not be a physical fisherman, but you better be able to cast vision. Yeah. 